Julian Castro is out of the presidential race. I'm not sorry. Okay, I don't really care. I'm not going <laughs> to extend my condolences like all these other candidates who just do that as a formality. Look, dude, how can I put this bluntly? All these fringe candidates in the race, like Castro, like O'Rourke, uh, Kamala Harris, all of these people are like the opening band at a show. We didn't come for you, man. Get out of the way. We're here for the main attraction, okay? We want to see Warren, Bernie, and Biden fight it out. That's what it's going to come down to. All you're doing is wasting our time, okay? Making me do these dumbass videos, try to try <laughs> having to cover you. Go away. <laughs> anyway, he's out. Now... What some people are saying that, you know, some good things that he did during the campaign. Okay, so one of them was making the litmus test about the border control be about, do you want to decriminalize border crossings, right? So that became the litmus test. So now all the other candidates had to go and embrace his position about decriminalizing them so you don't separate families and stuff like that. Okay, that's a good thing. One thing that I like personally from him is when he would read out the names the, of the victims of police brutality. I thought that was a, that's a good thing to honor them and bring awareness. I like that. And I mean, he's been doing that regularly. And another thing that we can't forget <laughs> was when he humiliated Joe Biden during the debates. You remember that? They do not have to buy in. You just said that. You just said that two minutes ago. You just you said two minutes ago that they would have to buy in. You said they would have to buy in. to buy in. If she uh, qualifies are, for Medicaid, are you forgetting what you said two minutes ago? Be for it. Are you forgetting already what you said just two minutes ago? That was amazing. I really loved him for that. Okay. So I don't want to go too harsh on him. He's no, he's no Kamala Harris. I mean, come on. We can't, we can't, if, if Kamala Harris, Kamala Cop Harris is the bottom of the barrel, you know, along with Pete Booty Juggler, we can't put Castro down there. That's not fair. I wouldn't say he's that bad. So I don't want to gloat too much at him leaving. No, that's unfair. But yeah, when he went after Joe Biden, man, that was some good stuff right there. I really like that. You just said that. Are you already forgetting what you're saying? <laughs> you know, he was calling out Biden's age and his crumbling cognitive abilities come on man you you're doing the right thing like this this loaf of bread can't become the president man get out of here get out of here not to mention his record i mean come on we're not just basing it on that alone but you know all these gaffes no this this is impermissible and you know all the racist crap no it's not happening man forget it so that was a good, good thing. That's the best thing that he did this entire campaign. We got to give him props for that. Because, <laughs> you know, if Bernie Sanders had done it, oh, my God, they would have never shut up about it. You know, so it's good when someone else does the dirty work for us. Do you know what I'm saying? It, it's a, it does us a solid, okay? Bernie Sanders, he ain't got his hands on that. But it helps him. Do you feel me? There you go. Now, there are some... People also saying that, you know, it's a shame because he was the only Latino in the race. He was one of the only candidates of color. And this is the most diverse Democratic primary that you've ever had. Yeah, man. OK, I feel you. I'm brown, too. I get you. But at the end of the day, I don't care about your race. I care about what policies are you bringing to help people of color. Do you know what I'm saying? I care about if you actually care about people of color. I want to see if your policies actually help people of color. Because Kamala Harris is a person of color, but I'm pretty sure she don't actually care about helping people of color. Do you catch my drift? So at the end of the day, it's about what you represent and what you're running on. Okay. And someone like Bernie Sanders, I know he cares. I know. Okay. So let's not make it just about that. Okay. Yes, it's nice to have a diverse race. You know what I'd really like to see? I'd like to see a Democratic primary with 20 prog real progressives in it too. That's what I'd really like to see. Okay, that's what I really like to see. Now we're talking. So that's one thing. All right. Now, who else we got left in this race? Oh, and by the way, and you guys remember, he was actually threatening to drop out before. Like he was saying, if I don't raise 800000 by the end of this week, I'm out. You know, he was saying that back in October and November already. You know, yeah, these campaigns are expensive, man. <laughs> you know, they don't run on air. So he, I'm guessing he's out of money now. Okay. He's out of money, and that's why he's got to drop out. So, you know, as he said himself, 
it's not your time, man. It's just not. It really isn't. Who else is in this race that really needs to drop the hell out soon? I would say Cory Booker, right? I think he's going to be next. I think it was going to be Cory Booker next. And then Clovis Sharp. Um, it's good that he's doing this now, though. Because, like, if you wait until next month, you're going to get kind of humiliated at the primaries, man. You're going to come out, like, not right now, Castro's polling at, like, 2% at best. But if you wait till next month, you're going to get voted at 2%. Then you're stuck with that, man. You're going to be like, oh, that's the guy that got 2% at the last primary. No. Just leave now. <laughs> leave now. Okay? Go quietly. So there you go. And I think Cory Booker is going to be next. At least I hope so. And I hope Amy Klobuchar follows quickly. And please, Pete Buttigieg, hello. God, I, I hate that weasel. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think he's going to go anywhere anytime soon because he is doing pretty well with the fundraising, right? So he... He's probably going to stick around for a few of the primaries. Yeah. I don't think he's going to drop out before. Okay? Because you got you to keep in mind, for some of them, it's, it's better for them to just leave quietly, right? And not have to go through that. Because then it's going to stick to him. Okay? So, Julian Castro and I think Cory Booker are probably next. We'll see.